In this video, I'm going to show you how we can make an exercise rope out of just an ordinary bed sheet and some strong tape. So the first thing we want to do is we want to pick out our materials. Here I have a, like a twin bed sheet. You can use a queen. I'd recommend a queen or a king size sheet. It's going to get you a longer rope. But what we want to do is essentially we're going to take our bed sheet and we're going to roll it up. I'm going to set in a couple little points along the way when I do my first roll and that's going to help to keep things bunched up and then we can go back with our colorful tape and we can make it kind of look the way we want to. So let's go ahead, let's get this sheet out of here. And I picked this up brand new if you want to get something brand new. So it's about four to five bucks just for a regular, regular sheet. Okay. Set that over there. All right, so we're just gonna lay this out here. You can use an old sheet, new sheet, it doesn't matter. Okay, get this piece of cardboard out. Okay. All right, so as you can see here, we just have an ordinary bed sheet. We got some different types of strong tape here that we're gonna to use to tape this up. Now I recommend pre-cutting your tape before you get ready to roll it up and do your points just so you have it ready. So I've gone ahead and done that. I've pre-cut my tape down here. And so what I'm gonna do is just find one end of the sheet and let's just go from one corner to the other. Roll this thing out here. There we go. And you can essentially just kind of pull it out straight. And then from here, just take about a foot or so. I'm gonna take a piece of material here and then I'm just gonna give it a wrap around here a couple times. There we go. Nice, and I'm gonna go down a couple more inches here. So I'm doing about a, a foot spacing or so in between my spots here. That should only take you about 10 or 15 minutes to do that. So when you get to the bigger part of the rope, you might have a longer piece of tape that you wanna use. Again, at the end of the day, we're going to have the whole thing taped up if you want. And so that way, there we go. You can see here the big one. That way it can look the way you want. If you want to have a blue and red rope, you can have a blue and red rope. There's a lot of exercises we can do with just having a, a rope that's, you know, in the six to eight foot length. Now, some exercises we're going to want a longer rope, and so in that situation, make two of these and we can just tie them together. And that'll give us a pretty good long rope. We can do a lot of our true fit exercises with that particular rope without the need to have to go and, and buy anything. So you should have no problem making this. Of course, just be careful with the scissors as always. There we go. So we're already almost done kind of with this first step. And again, it only takes a few minutes. I'm just kind of, you can see every once in a while here, I'm just kind of tucking this, this bid in. It's just gonna make it a little easier to tape it up in the future. So there we go. Okay, just wrap it around. All right. And then one more here. That'll do it. We'll have pretty good spacing here. If we want to go back in and do different colors, we want to do the whole color. We could do the whole thing purple at this point if you wanted to. But this is essentially what I want to get to within just a few minutes. It's just having my bed sheet tied up. I'm going to have a center point right here. I'm going to reinforce this. In this situation, it's the pink area of this rope. Um, but again, you can see you're going to have a heavier area. So depending on what you want to do with it, you might be gripping here or you might be having to grip down at the ends, depending on the type of exercise that we're doing. But we'll set that over here. And then again, with this, I'm pretty much already set up. I can start doing things. But if we wanted to add color, this is when I would go back. I would start picking out my different colors, getting this thing set up. 
uh, getting it looking the way I want. And then if I want to, when I'm all done here, I'll tie these two up. And then at this point now, I've got quite a long exercise rope. So that's the goal. This is what we're going for. I mean, if this only cost me a couple bucks here, maybe five or six, ten dollars, uh, you know, this is a great deal. If I already have the duct tape, if I'm already making equipment, you've seen the other videos, you can see we use a lot of duct tape for color coding and just making things work. So you might already have the duct tape and then that way you can, uh, you can set this up. I want it to untie them here. I can just untie this, separate this one. And so I can use this as two. I can have one independent rope if I'm doing my, my battle rope style exercises. Uh, if I'm doing like a wave the rope and we're doing a crazy balls or something like that, we might be waving the rope, hitting the bouncy balls around. This is great for that. Um, even doing a rope pull, you know, with this long rope, I can hook this up to an object and I can pull this across the room. I can pull it across the yard. Um, so whatever we're doing with a rope, ideally, we can do most of it with this. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I'm going to make this colorful. I'm going to get this set up looking like this one. And um, we'll kind of go a little fast forward there and then we'll show you the end result and we'll get this thing working. And uh, looking forward to seeing what you got to make, sharing your ideas and your exercises with us. Uh, as always, find us on social media and uh, please do share with us what you got. So here we go. Again, I recommend pre-cutting. So if you're gonna watch them fast forward, we're gonna pre-cut all of this here. Okay, so fast forward part. Now here we go, I got a couple sections cut. So I'm just gonna show you again how we're just gonna kind of roll this over here and then maybe, maybe go around a little bit of an angle there. So again, when you pull with the duct tape, it kind of helps to bunch everything together and that'll give us enough security to keep this from falling apart. The nice thing is, is it, if it gets a little messed up, it's okay. It's just some duct tape, so you can always go back and add another piece. One spot's come undone, or if you missed a spot. All right. Go back this way. And so we're just going to get it nice and tight here. Get that rolled up. So we already have one section done. This is here, kind of reinforce some areas. Now a couple things to make note of. This tape's pretty sticky, as you can see. It gets stuck to the scissors. Sometimes it gets stuck to itself. Sometimes you can use that piece and still wrap it around. Sometimes you just gotta discard it and throw it away. Uh, don't worry if you see your tape gets kinda bunched over. Um, you can try to fix it if you can, but again, it might be something that you just can't do anything about. And so just go ahead and take that piece off. Cut yourself another piece if you need to. But now, as you can see here, I have my two ropes. Um, I'm pretty much could use them individually like this. I could tie one end around my sofa. I could tie it around a chair. Um, I could have this anchored. And again, I can anchor both ropes together by just taking my two loose ends here. And then I'm just gonna tie these up in a knot. And so ideally, this is the long rope that we'd like to end up working with. Um, this rope, you could even tape off this knot if you wanted just to secure that midpoint. But with this rope, we can do a whole lot. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something. Um, hope you can do this at home. You can make this yourself. If you have any questions or anything, if you want to reach out, feel free to. I'll try to answer your questions and help you to uh, do the best you can to make your own exercise equipment and get true fit with all of us. Thank you.